Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an interactive component with Timeline for Sketch. So first thing we want to install the plugin which is Anima Toolkit for Sketch and then click on the rightmost tab which is the Timeline tab and click on Tutorial. What this will do, it will open the tutorial file and it will have a bunch of tutorials. We're going to focus on one today which is the interaction design one, the UI switch and let's see how it goes. So um, I'm just gonna follow the steps slowly and show you how it works. So I'm going to select the artboard as it says in step one and then in step two click the interaction design here. What this will do it will open the timeline editor in sketch and it will also create a second state. So components have different states and the UI switch has two states the off state and the on state so let's see what's the next step it says here on the right state alright this is this one move the knob to the left okay so this is the knob I'm going to select it and I'm going to select it by holding command key and clicking it what this will do it will open up uh, all the groups and then select the layer that you're actually clicking on all right, so I want to move it to the left, but here's the thing. I want to move it precisely uh, without moving it up or down. So here's a trick. I'm going to hold down the shift key and move it to the left. Now, when I hold down the shift key, it doesn't matter if I move the mouse up or down. It only moves left and right. All right, so I'm going to move it here. That's good for me. And then move on to step number four which says on the right state hide the on background okay so let's select the on background here or I can also select it here and hide it now there are two ways to hide it one is to hover over the layer and then click the eye icon or I can also uh, basically turn off the opacity all the way down which is the same all right, so I did both of these, and if I zoom out, we can see we have an on state and an off state. And the next thing we want to do, step number five, select state zero and add an action. What I want to do is that when I, when someone clicks here on the switch, it will move to this state. So I'm selecting this switch, clicking the lightning button, which is means to add an action and selecting the target state and then the event which is on click so now I basically said when someone clicks on the UI switch here make it create a transition to this state here alright I'm gonna do the same for when someone clicks here on this state so I just wanna make sure notice when I clicked it I actually selected the background and I want to select the switch so I'm going to make sure I select the switch itself and then click here and choose the target state and select the event so now I have two transitions I can select each of them and let's see what that makes now that when I click run component I go into the interactive mode and I can actually click the switch and I can see how it works live isn't that cool? So, uh, if I have many states and I just want to see the transition itself, I can also do play transition. And then you can see it actually right here. That, that's helpful if you have many states and you don't want to uh, go into the component and have to do a bunch of stuff. So, the next thing I want to show you is that I can actually customize the animation uh, in each transition. When I select a transition, I can see it on the bottom all the layers that do something. Uh, so in this case, we have two layers that do something. We have the on background that hides itself, and we have the knob that moves right and left. So if I select this transition, I can now make the duration of the animation longer, and I can add a delay, and I can also control the timing function. If I want to move more than uh, one animation like uh, together, I can press the shift key and hold it 
and then select two and move them together. So that, that's very useful if you have many animations. And I can also simply edit and say I want the animation to be two seconds. So notice that we have two transitions, but only one of them I made slower. So let's see how that looks. I will click Run Component. When I click here, this is slow, and this is fast. All right, that's pretty cool. But now, what if I want to customize the animation even more? So instead of doing an ease in out timing, which is uh, start slow and then a little bit faster and then slower, what if I want to make it even, uh, let's say I want to make it slower and then fast, 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 and then slow. This means slow, fast, slow. Okay, let's see how this looks. So I click, slow, fast, slow. All right, we can see it even easier if I make it this longer, like four seconds, run component, click, slow, 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 fast, slow, slow. All right, that's cool. So I think you get the hang of this. You can play with it around. You can make some amazing animations. So this is very simple, obviously, but um, this will do for this tutorial. Now, once I created this component, probably I want to use it somewhere. And the whole point of timeline is that you don't have to hand it off to a developer to as a GIF, or you can actually, what you can do, you can hand off actual code that works. So you can either embed it in a website, or you can uh, give it to a developer to look at the code. So if you click export code, it will prepare this link that you can actually use in a browser. So this is the switch we made and if I click it then it will create the actual animation. As you can see here when I click it the actual animation is done so, so fast, slow, slow, slow and then right so this is interactive you can see the code if you click on code pan and that this is it and it, it works here too slow so so fast so so and then fast um, you can embed it if you have a website and you want to embed it you can just copy and embed it and be done with it and that's basically it for this tutorial let us know what you think in the comment section thank you very much